Good morning, everyone. Hope you are doing well. Uh, today is day five of week two of our challenge. It's the water challenge today. And this week actually has been all about water and what, how healthy and what water does for our body. And so I am just excited that you have stuck with us now for two weeks. We have been in almost two weeks together. And today we're going to be talking about the why behind drinking water. All week long, we have been focusing on you know, benefits of drinking water, what it's good for, and you know, and, which is extremely important. And hey, Hope, good morning. And so, you know, we've been talking about the, those things. We've been talking about things that you can add to your water. We've been talking about you know, different things that you can put in your water. Hope talked about that some. I've been talking about with it what it does for the body and how we've been using it. Today, we're going to talk about the why. What can happen if you aren't drinking enough water? And I want to end our week on a positive note, but we do need to talk about this too. So I wanna go ahead and get started. And um, I'm actually at home right now, I'm, I'm upstairs. And in about an hour, I am going to be heading out and I'm going to be on vacation for a week. I will still be coming to you live, popping in a little bit next week, but maybe not quite as much as this we normally do. So Hope's going to be filling in and do a little more next week and kudos to her. I know she always does such a fabulous job. But when we're next week, one of the things I did want to tell you about is the weekly emails won't go out. Before we get into water today, let me back up just a minute. Uh, the weekly emails won't go out every day next week, but they will still go out on Friday. I already have that set up and taken care of. So you will get your email next week on Friday to be able to uh, fill out your form. So no concerns about that. They just won't be coming out daily. So what I'll do is after I get back, I will just compile it all into, so you have all the information into one large email and we'll get it out that way to you. Because what we try to do, the reason that I send those emails out each day when we're finished talking is so a lot of times if you're driving, you can't be taking notes. Or, you know, sometimes you miss something and you think, what was it she said about this? And you're going back and trying to listen and figure out where it is in the video. So if we just highlight things and, you know, do just hit a little bullet list, um, bullet point list for you, then you kind of have that in writing and you can go back to refer to it in case you've missed something. So I'll make sure that we get a recap of next week together for you as well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started in talking about the why. Why it's so important to drink water and what can happen if you don't. Because it affects so many things in our bodies. You know, it's when we get down to the nitty gritty of our bodies and we really delve deep in there, it's all about our cells and how important things are to our cells. Our cells are, you know, you just have like these little cells and uh, that are always looking for certain things. They may be looking for a certain vitamin. They may be look, looking for a certain nutrient. And what water does is it keeps everything lubricated and moving and cleanses the body out, cleanses, you know, your body of toxins cleanses those cells and keeps them healthier. So it's so important that you take time to rehydrate your body and get those good things in because it affects every organ in your body. Water affects everything that you drink, everything you do. Water makes a difference. It's just, it's so integral and so easy to do. You know, this is not one of these big hard things where you have to go make this big concoction up or anything. You just pick up your bottle, pick up your glass, pick up your, you know, whatever you happen to be in and have some water. Um, and it makes a difference in our bodies. So what I want to talk about are just some, some of the few things that you might be experiencing because you don't drink enough water and you don't realize it's coming from. So, you know, if you, if, if you are feeling thirsty by the time your body says, I'm thirsty and you feel, then you you're actually have already become a little bit dehydrated. You might be slightly dehydrated if you feel thirsty. So you want to not let yourself become, you know, feeling like you're really thirsty. Keep that body hydrated. And you know, if you may feel sluggish, if you have a headache, you know, that's a big indicator. A lot of people get headaches and they don't realize that headaches can be a form of dehydration because your brain, remember we talked about earlier in the week that your brain is at 75% water. Somewhere around in there, 70, 75% water. So it's important then to keep it, that current going and keep things firing the way they should. And water is going to make a difference. And, you know, and not to say that any of you out there are drinkers. I'm not trying to say that. But, you know, when you, sometimes if you, um, 
have drank too many one night and, and you feel really bad the next morning, you feel hungover, it's because you're dehydrated and it's your, your head it needs, it, it's, you've deprived your brain of the essential water that it needs. So it's important for our brains. It is important for our heart. Our heart needs water. And it is important for our blood vessels. You know, a lot of people that struggle with high blood pressure, and I'm not saying this is the reason that you have, that someone may have high blood pressure, but it can contribute to high blood pressure. Is that, you know, we need our, um, when you have um, your, let me back up. When you have, with high blood pressure, a lot of times we get constricted blood vessels because we don't have enough water in them. And what happens when our blood vessels, blood vessels become constricted? You got it. You get high blood pressure. And that happens many times if you don't have enough water going through your system. You, know, you get this, it just constricts because it's trying to conserve and it doesn't have enough to keep it going good. So that's another thing that can happen. Our kidneys, oh, for goodness sakes, guys, we have to have water moving through our kidneys and being able to flush those toxins out of our bodies. You know, your kidneys are a filter for your body. And <clears throat> if you aren't getting enough water in, then it can't filter and do its job and clean your body, cleanse your body out of the toxins that are going through, you know, environmental toxins, toxins you may take in. You know, so make sure that you are taking time to drink your water for your kidney's sake. You know, so every, you may see blurry vision, uh, and that's a, a sign of dehydration. People don't realize that that is a common sign. Um, I tell people a lot, I have a, a really good friend whose husband, or I mean her son, is a fighter pilot. And many times before they go up in their planes, when they're, even when they're just doing regular maneuvers, they will check their vision. And because they can't have them up there being dehydrated that high in the sky, you know, with a, a several million dollar plane. So they will check their vision. And if their vision is uh, not where it needs to be, they may have to go, ha go back in and, you know, drink a couple bottles of water to clear up their vision. So, you know, that's really important too, to make sure that you are um, drinking enough water for your vision as well. It just affects so many things. Our lungs, it, you know, our, affects our lungs. It affects our extremities. Everything we do, every major organ we have benefits from drinking enough water. But in hindsight, you know, and conversely, it also can hurt your body if you aren't getting enough water. Oh, and your skin. You know, your skin is the biggest organ in the body. And if we aren't drinking enough water there, you know, you're going to, when you, your body is in a constant state of dehydration, you know, your skin is going to show it. It's, you're going to see more wrinkles. It's not going to be as plump. It's not going to be as glowing. So that's another thing. You know, you want not, you want better skin. Drink better. Drink more water. That's going to help your skin for sure. Hands down, you're going to get more water. Get better skin if you're drinking more water. So there are so many things that we can do to help our water. You know, um, when you're drinking your water, you know, try to. You want to, obviously you want to drink a lot in the morning. And we talked about that. You know, getting that bottle of water hardly before you ever get out of bed in the morning. Uh, I saw someone post this morning, thank you for posting that, that they're drinking almost a whole bottle of water before they ever get out of bed. Good job. Kudos to you if you're doing that. Yeah. And one thing to remember though is that, okay, so let's say you think, well, I don't drink hardly any water. Well, that's what this is all about. Drink one more than you drank last week. If you're already drinking one, drink two. You know, just get a little more in. And if, and then there again, and if you're, if this is great and you're doing well and you know all this stuff, pay it forward. Let somebody else know the importance of it, and maybe you can help them be able to start making some good choices and doing better, you know, in their health journey. Because that's what we're all, you know, we all want to get healthier ourselves and then help others get healthy. I know that's why I'm here. That's why Hope's here. We want to help you get healthier so that you feel better and you live longer. And while you're living longer, you're enjoying it, and you do feel good while you're living longer. Yeah. I know with me uh, personally, and I've heard uh, Hope say in the past too, that you know we got on our health journeys due to th either things that happened to us personally or things that we walked through with other people that really made us see the importance of doing our best to live longer and feel good. And you know, so we want to pay that forward. And that's one of the things we're trying to do that here with you each week is we're trying to pay that forward to you. So... <clears throat> Hope you've learned something this week about water. And next week, it's all about movement. So we're going to be, each day we're going to be coming on. Someone's going to be talking to you live each day and just giving you little things and little um, 
information and delving deeper in there with movement. So it's all about movement next week. So we started out with water, moving on to movement, and then the next week will be nutrition. So when we're talking about movement next week, we're going to start small, get a little bigger, learn a little more, and we hope to see you then. If you weren't able to watch live today, just, you know, type in down below, shoot me something in the replay saying that you watched it. And this has been a great week. Thank you so much for sticking with us and being a part of this. And we look forward to talking with you next week. Bye, guys.